Hi there everyone, it's Alta here. I hope you're having a fabulous Saturday. As promised, here I am with part three of my short series called What You Must Do to Win More and Achieve More. I trust that the serious to level uppers among you completed the two exercises I shared with you before. By now, you should have a written paragraph that states what you want to achieve. Whether you desire to turn your annual income into your monthly income, increase your sales, grow your business, or heal your life, you had to write this paragraph in the present tense, starting with, I am so happy and grateful now that I. Today, I was hoping you could double check what you wrote on your want list. Be sure that it is what you desire. Feel free to rethink and rewrite it if you must, because as soon as you are ready, the hard work starts. I want you to hold the vision of your desire on the screen of your mind, no matter what the outside world dictates. Let me repeat that. I want you to hold the vision of what you desire on the screen of your mind, no matter what you see around you. As Napoleon Bonaparte did, only see the objective until the obstacle gives way. Agreed. This is the most challenging part of the whole process. You see, we are conditioned and programmed to react to what the outside world presents to us. We are programmed to react from the outside inward. For example, when we see an undesirable bank statement, we feel hopeless. And because we feel so bad, we do nothing about it. For the next few weeks or months, depending on how, how large your want is, I invite you to ignore the outside situations and stay true to the vision you have on your paper. It will require effort, I know it too well, but you can do it. And it's the only way you will achieve what you wrote on your paper. To accomplish this, you will have to defy logic and ignore what you see in your current results as much as possible. For example, you may see the leaderboard in the office states you are currently in the sixth place while you want to win. So ignore those results and remain focused on being the trophy holder by the end of this year. Your aim may be to double or triple your income, but you receive an extra high account to pay. Pay it and move on. If you hope to meet a new soulmate and live happily ever after, but you receive a horrible message from your ex accusing you of being the worst partner ever, do not get drawn into the blame game. Pay no attention to it. Remain focused on what you really want. Stick a copy of your want list up in your bathroom. Carry another copy in your handbag and place a copy in your office to look at it several times a day. Keep reading it and be open to and act upon all inspiration or ideas you may receive in the process. Pretty soon, you shall see a shift in your circumstances. Now, don't be like the 97% of people who never act on information they receive. Instead, please become part of the 3% of the population who do what they know they should be doing to thrive. Sadly, it's not an instant process, but it is the only way you can level up and enter a whole new reality. I'm living this way every day, and it's working out pretty well for me. And today, I wanted to share it with you. 
Well, this concludes our three days series. Blessings to you all. Have a great weekend. And don't forget to let me know what in the world I can do for you today. Bye.